Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. Thanks very much for joining me today. Um, got a little something different for you. Um, what I'm thinking about doing is making a kind of a short series of uh, making some pen blanks for you. Out of something weird and different, as always. Too sure what to call it yet. Uh, maybe, I don't know, what's in that blank? Blankety blank? Um, Blankety blank! Dunno, I'll think of something and I'll put it up in the description. The idea really is to try and make uh, a different type of pen blank using this mould. Got this a little while ago from the States and uh, pretty cool for making pen blanks. What we're going to do is try and find some interesting things to put into the pen blank. Um, and then obviously we can cut our about five, maybe six pen blanks out of this. I don't know, maybe later on we can just turn them into pens or pencils. So today, I've got some leftover matchsticks. Made a matchstick project a little while ago. Don't know if you remember that one. I'll put it here if you don't. Um, it kind of turned out all right. It was a little bit weird. I had a few problems, but the problems seemed to turn out okay. And that was quite good. So I've got tons and tons and tons of matchsticks left over. <laughs> like boxes of the things. I thought, you know what? They make quite good pen blanks. So that's what we're going to be making today. Let's give this one a bash. Hope you like it. Okay, so uh, this hasn't kind of worked out because um, the all the matchsticks have risen to the top and our pen blank is not going to look very good with resin on one side and matchsticks on the other. So really what I should have done, which I didn't do, was seal it all down uh, so that um, all these will be pushed down inside the resin. So a bit of a pain, but that's not a problem. I'm sure we can use this again on another project because that looks kind of cool. I reckon we could probably uh, put that on the lathe and we could inlay that into something kind of nice. So let's put that aside. Now what I've done is I've done another one. Here's one I made earlier. Um, and I've sealed it all up. This time what I've done is um, I've done this again. And this time I've sealed it up with masking tape so that it pushes everything down. So this time it should work. Let's give it a go. Much better. There we go. That's popped out of there quite nice. And as you can see now, where I've pushed this down by the, held it down by the tape, 
you've got the matchsticks throughout the whole uh, blank and that's obviously what we want so when you're making your pen you've got a bit of the matchstick kind of all the way round. So all we need to do now is just clean this end up and make it like that end um, and then we can cut our little pen blanks out and we're done. Okay, so there's our um, blank so far, our pen blank, matchstick pen blank. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna polish this up a little bit, just to give it a little bit of a shine. So I'm gonna use a new uh, buffing system that I've got, um, and it's uh, this system here, three stage plastic polishing kit. Um, so let's give that a bash and see how that, and see how this works. So there it is, polished up. I like that. I think that effect looks pretty cool. I think we could use this type of effect in a different type of project later on. But for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop up little blanks out of this so we can make our pen blanks. It's all the way through. This has got a bit of a textured uh, base to it because that's where it, sort of, that's how it came out of the, the, the mold. So I'll kind of just leave that as it is really. As you can see, a little texture on it. And this is kind of me sanding it down. That looks really nice, I like that. Let's get this chopped up. The matchstick pen blank. Here you go guys. Um, I've cleaned them up a little bit on the um, with the buff using the buffing wheel again. Not much, but just a little bit. They're a little bit thinner than I would probably uh, have preferred, but nevertheless, we can still make a pen out of it. They're still thick enough to do that, but I think that in the future I'll try and make them a little bit thicker. But they turned out all right actually. I think they're quite cool. I think these will make quite cool pens. Um, so, do I make a pen with them now or not? <laughs> 